everybody, Jeff here, and today I'm ranking every Aegis Lux screen here in Valorant. I made a video like this a while ago, but some new agents have been added since then, like Harbor and Fade, for example, and some of my tastes may have changed that might affect the rankings. We're going to spice some things up for my normal ranking videos and start off at the top of S tier, then go all the way down to the worst of the worst at F tier. Let me know what your favorite Agent Select screen is by leaving a comment down below, and if you enjoy the content, the subscribe button will be your best friend. All right, so starting us off at the coolest Agent Select screen, in my opinion, Opinion, and I'm sure a lot of you guys picked this as well is of course gonna be KO Now, if that right there doesn't get you hyped for a Valorant match, I don't know what will. It honestly is just one of the coolest things about Valorant is KO's agent select screen. It starts off with the bright light in the background and KO is powering up his null command. He's powering on and then finally he pops. The screen goes dark. KO's face turns back on and then he pumps the shotgun in the coolest way he possibly can. You watch this agent select screen just one time and you already know that KO is just such a badass. There are very few things in Valorant that are cooler than watching KO pop his null command. Now, KO is the top of the top of our tier list. Moving on now is going to be Yoru. Just like KO, you don't really need to say much to know that his HSL screen is just amazing. Starting off with the glow in his eyes as he tears open a rifts in reality, steps through, and then just closes behind him. The mask goes away. A bright light shines in his hands, and it just looks like that whatever he's holding onto with his arm right there in his hand is just immense power. I know I probably sound like a big nerd talking about all this, guys, but like, come on, you can't, can't deny that it's so cool. Plus, Yoru by himself is just one of the coolest characters in Valorant, and it just gets is topped off so well with this god tier honestly god tier agent select screen speaking of another god tier agent select screen is someone that can quite literally be a god to some people uh astra It definitely starts off with a different vibe from what we see from other Agent Slut screens, where we're in a totally different, what looks like a reality. And Astra just glides through the air so effortlessly, making it feel like it's something that she has great control over. Her eyes opening up, revealing that scary yet amazing glow is pretty cool. She does some crazy little hand thing, which powers up a star, brings her out of the Astra form and into her meditating state that she was in earlier. And she just sits there just holding a freaking star in her hands. The Astral Guardian, once again, does really well on one of these ranking videos because like it's just so cool and she just looks so powerful as she does it need i say again that she's holding a star in her hands now coming up next is an agent that i bumped up to s tier from my last video uh remember how i said that my my taste and my biases maybe got a little manipulated uh yeah chambers here in s tier I could listen to Chamber shooting his Tour de Force like all day long. And you get to hear that in the Agent Slug screen as it pierces through the card that, you know, is, uh, you know, covering the screen. And since Chamber is so cool, he just sits there twirling the card in his hands, which probably costs more than my entire mortgage. And I know some of you guys don't rank Chamber Select screen, you know, a S tier, but this is the one, the one biased pick I get in the video, guys. Everything else I'm going to do on an objective, cool, you know, basis. Speaking of objectively cool, uh, we have Fade. I just absolutely love how it starts off in her nightmare-ish reality. I love how her head just like turns from one area down into the you know, back into reality. And then she takes the prowler, just throws it off screen. It just looks so cool doing it. And then she just picks up one of her snares and just sits there just, you know, pulling the snare string for what feels like forever as she sits there with her different colored eyes, just staring into your soul, probably just waiting to give you a terrible nightmare. Yeah, I know. I probably do sound like a big nerd. I'm going to say that a couple times in this video, I'm sure. But uh, I mean, come on, it's so cool. I just love the little like head bobbing thing she does where she goes into like her, you know, goes from her nightmare state into reality. And then she does all like uh, releases a bunch of her abilities. Those are all the agents in S tier. Now let's move on to the top of A tier, which is going to be everyone's favorite scientist, Viper.
I love how it menacingly starts off in her viper's pit where you see the glow in her eyes. And once the viper's pit dissipates, we kind of see like her mask, like, you know, go to the back of her head. And then her hand like creepily goes up her chest and shoulder up to her respirator as she pulls it off. And it just has this like this, this smuck, arrogant look on her face, like assuming that we just died from her poison. And she looks pretty badass and cool while doing so. You don't really have to like know anything about Valorant or play Viper at all. And then you take one look at this Aegis left screen and you see that she, of course, does something with Tom toxins and it's probably pretty poisonous and you got to watch out for her next in a tier is omen now i think omens is actually like really really cool because it, it is really short the animation is very short but it is really cool how it starts off in his like shadow realm like state and it oh geez and then he like all of a sudden just goes into reality and it, it feels like it's like he's like glitching or like you know it's just it, i don't know that little effect that happens while he like sits there and his like body looks like it's being like ripped apart and glitching and like the how the it's like really windy and his cape is going by it really does give omen a very menacing look if you ask me and like an unpredictable look at that as well and of course i do need to say that the blue glow of light that like is apparently his face is just sitting there all present too and it's just pretty cool next up an a tier is gonna be cypher Now, of course, people that watch my streams know that I absolutely hate playing Cypher, but I do think that pretty much everything else about Cypher is amazing. And of course, his Aegis Left screen does get, you know, grouped up into that awesome category because you can't deny it. it's awesome. Starting off in the mysterious Cyber Cage where you see like glimpses of Cypher himself as Cypher emerges from the Cyber Cage and then you know, twirls that coin, you know, his tripwire in his hand the entire time, which I always just sit there staring at it. But yeah, like I said, I don't really enjoy playing Cypher. I can't wait for his buff but i will say that you know his agent on screen is just amazing closing out a tier is gonna be queen empress reyna And I really do love in the Agent's Left screen that it starts her off in her Empress form. Because we all know that's when Reyna is at her most powerful. You insta-lock Reyna mains just must absolutely love watching that pink and purple glow move from her hands up her arm across the shoulder and end off with the glow of her eyes and that crystal on her chest. Yeah, one look at that and you'd assume Reyna is uh pretty powerful. All right, this last agent for A tier. Let's move on to B tier. And at the top of B tier is going to be Rays. I love how it's just utter chaos and raises Aegis left screen. She throws the grenade up in the air. It's exploding all around her. Meanwhile, she doesn't care at all. She has the music on. She's just jamming out, blasting music, having a grand old time as literal chaos and destruction is happening behind her. And I think this is absolutely perfect for Raze because it just shows how much she just doesn't care, enjoys, and has a good time while destruction is happening all around her now i'm sure you guys are wondering where harbor was in all of this and uh he's in a pretty solid b tier and you'll see why But being real with you guys, I was a little let down with Harbor's Age of Celeste screen because I really do think they could have done some amazing things with this. I mean, all I want is one tidal wave. Is that too much to ask for? We do get to see that pretty cool shot of the water droplets, you know, forming around him. And of course, I gotta say that, you know, Harbor does look amazing here. I mean, it really does. But I really do think that it is a little bit of a letdown. There definitely was a lot more you can do with it, in my opinion. It is pretty cool seeing the artifact, I will say, and having the water, you know, form around the artifact and kind of see how it manipulates and moves but yeah i was just i don't know I, I wanted a little bit more with harbors well moving on to one of the ogs of valorant is gonna be sova Now, there really isn't much to Sova's. You know, the Owl Drone starts off and then kind of forms like around his wrist. And then he takes out that bow and arrow and kind of just sits there with it. Uh, I did notice, though, if you kind of wait a little bit before you uh, before you select him in a match, his bionic eye glows a bright blue. And then it looks like it like tracks onto something. He picks up the bow and arrow and kind of like, you know, cocks it back and gets it ready to shoot something. 
he eventually doesn't shoot anything but it was cool to see that you know when his eye sees movement or when it like tracks something it glows up i'd never noticed that if i'm being real and it kind of makes it add to the lore a little bit don't you think every time like a target comes in front of sova the eye helps him track it from what i'm assuming so i thought that was pretty cool so i think a solid b tier works with sova the lady of lightning is up next neon Now, she does make a pretty good entrance here as she quickly runs into the camera and slides in, you know, all electrified with the blue wall fastlane ability all around her. I do think it's pretty cool how the electricity kind of regresses into the device on her back as well, kind of containing the rest of the energy she used. It kind of relies heavily on the beginning sequence, you know, first couple seconds where all the action's happening. But, you know, these Aegis Life screens aren't meant to be like freaking cinematics or anything. I just like when it's got a little bit of something going on, which Neon's definitely does. Moving on to the genius of Killjoy. I think Killjoys is definitely carried by her bots, you know, her sentry and alarm bot because, you know, they do have so much personality. Her alarm bot is literally just like a dog for some reason. It's got like dog-like, you know, tendencies. And then it kind of just goes away as KJ just like sassily sits on her sentry bot, which apparently locks onto a target and starts shooting it as Killjoy is still sitting on it. Is it just me or does it look like Killjoy just doesn't want to be there? She looks like she has like, she's like angry, just wants to like go home or go to the lab. I still think it's cool though, but it is really carried by her bots. Uh, uh, KJ really, really doesn't do much at all. So I guess that's why it's at the lowest end of B tier. All right, those are all the agents in B tier and we're gonna move on to the agents at C tier. And at the very, very top is gonna be Phoenix. This is another situation where I feel like my tastes have changed. In the last video, I placed Phoenix a little bit higher. But if I'm being real with you guys, I think they could do so much more with Phoenix. Yeah, I do like how it's more about like personality. You know, he's checking himself out, moves the camera while he's in his ultimate and then goes back and, you know, fluff his jacket, the collar of his jacket out. And he kind of just sits there in a pretty cool pose. Dude, you could do so much with Phoenix. I want a firewall. I want flashes going through. I want him like ulting around and destroying things and in a chaotic form. But of course, like I said, these aren't supposed to be cinematics. They're just little fun animations happening as you're picking your agent. But uh, yeah, I, I do want like a cool Phoenix one, you know, Riot, if you're watching, uh, you know, do that. Oh, and then also while you're at it, make Harbors look cooler too, because I think he deserves that as well. Up next is the environmental activist Sky. And this is going to be the last agent's left screen where something cool is happening where they're doing something with their powers everything else from here on out is kind of lame I do like how she starts off with holding the dog statue and then infuses it with whatever radiant power she has and then sends the dog off and it looks like she has a moment where she like you know harnesses her power once again and the kind of cools off a bit we also get to see a lot of scars i never really noticed all the scars on sky's arms which shows that she's been through a lot she's done a lot and she's a pretty tough person if she could have all these battle wounds and still be a pretty outgoing person but yeah this is the last time in the video where an agent does something kind of cool with their powers Everything else is lame. But we're still in C tier. We're not quite in F tier yet. And the next agent in C tier is going to be Sage. Same thing with Phoenix and, you know, Harbor. I think there is so much more you could do with Sage. I think it'd be really cool if she was, like, in a clinic or, like, you know, on the, like, on the side of a hospital or in a hospital or something, like, healing people. And then she, like, looks up at the camera and then, like, smiles or something and then, like, puts a wall up or something like that. Like, that would be really cool. Like, all you really see is with one of her orbs just twirling it around. You know, her hair is, you know, flowing in the wind. You know, I guess that's okay. But, like, there is so much more you could do with Sage. Like, I, I would like to see her healing things or bringing things back to life and then look at the camera and then do something instead of just kind of doing, well, nothing. <laughs> up next is the Wind Girl Jet. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's kind of lame, guys. Like, it is kind of cool, you know, how she quickly gets on screen and then, you know, she kind of like has got a lot of attitude on her face, doesn't it look like? And then she takes the knife and kind of just twirls it around, whether she's twirling it sideways or, you know, up and down. It's kind of just all she really does. You know, the, the animation really is, you know, just a super quick thing. Not really cool. You can do a lot with Jet. You know, she could be running around, you know, jumping from skyscrapers or, you know, doing some crazy stuff. 
But no, we just get her twirling her knife, which I guess is a little bit of a personality thing with her blade storm and such. All right, now there's two agents left and we find ourselves here in F tier. And it's kind of the same thing with the last HSL screen video. Uh, these still are the two worst, you know, HSL screens. And the first one's gonna be Breach. Yep, he just turns around, you know, doesn't really do anything cool with his arms. Like, we could have totally gotten like a rolling thunder, a flashpoint, you know, afterburner, something. But no, he kind of just sits there and flexes. And I, I dude, there's so much you can do with Breach. Like, like Breach could have a clear S tier, you know, animation or HS left screen if he did some crazy, crazy thing with his arms, showing off the true capability and powers of him instead of just flexing. Come on. Well, closing out the video is gonna be the founder of the protocol, Brimstone. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I cringe when I see this pose. It does not do Brimstone justice. Either he looks fat and it's just like an awkward pose. You got like a big, strong Brimstone with a, you know, decorated military, you know, veteran. And he just sits there and like, it just doesn't look cool. I hope you guys agree with me on that one. I'm sure there's gonna be someone in the comments that say, no, Brimstone's S tier, it's amazing. But yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you disagree with any of my picks, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you let me know what your favorite and least favorite Age of Sluck screen is, uh, you could do that as well. Make sure to leave like and subscribe notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, Jippy out.